In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream to Facebook from your phone using OmniStream. But why OmniStream? Well, because OmniStream is gonna allow you to use your cell phone to encode your live stream. In case you wanna do some mobile streaming where you don't have access to internet, you can use your cell network or any Wi-Fi network to be able to go live. And if you wanna multi-stream to multiple destinations like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, you can still do so with OmniStream. Plus, if you want to connect an external camera to your phone as well, you can still do it. But for today, we're going to be focusing only on how to live stream to Facebook Live using OmniStream, obviously from your phone. So let's not take much time. Let's actually get right into it. What's going on, guys? Sam with OmniStream here. Let's go ahead and actually open OmniStream from my phone. But again, if you don't have OmniStream, I would invite you to go to OmniStream.live or go to your Google Play and download the OmniStream application. Once it's actually installed, you can go ahead and register. Super, super simple. Mine is already installed and have registered already. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and actually open OmniStream on my phone. And as you can see, this is what it looks like so what we're gonna do now the first thing we want to make sure we have all the settings right now for the purpose of this video i'm gonna using the built-in camera from my phone however you can use any camera that you want either use the phone facing the back camera or even an external camera if you want it so the first thing we want to make sure we got all the settings right so we're gonna go to the sandwich menu here and as you can see this is where you can actually find all your settings i'm gonna let you go through all the settings that you may like or may not like okay but for now we don't really have to change anything in terms of settings right here the next button here we're gonna look into is gonna be this arrow button this is where we're gonna be connecting OmniStream to facebook as you can see you have multiple destinations that you can actually connect to you have youtube instagram twitch custom rtmp so many cool destinations again this is gonna be maybe for another video okay next we're gonna go to this button here for graphics and for this this one as you can see you can have your logo your lower third you're starting soon full size or sports if you're doing some sports but for now what we're gonna do we're gonna be using this one called starting soon all right so i'm gonna go ahead and actually click to it as you can see we have a few templates so for starting my stream i'm gonna be actually using the one in the middle that says stream starting soon so i'm gonna click on it and i'm gonna hit submit i'm gonna leave it the way it is for now okay the next thing we're gonna do for the envelope icon we don't really need to go there that's mainly for messages the next thing we're gonna make sure we actually get right is gonna be our beat rate okay so where it says six megabits per second i'm gonna go here and click on it as you can see it's gonna allow me to choose from one megabits per second to 16 megabits per second again depending on your internet connection usually for facebook live if you want to go in full hd 30 frames per second which is gonna be what we're gonna be doing today six megabits per second is the maximum they actually take so you want to make sure you don't go over six megabits per second now if you want live to youtube and other platforms you may actually change it you may also go lower if you think your internet connection is not gonna handle it do something like four megabits per second and that should be able to give you a good stream as well but for me i'm gonna go with the max next we're gonna go to the camera icon and this is where we usually choose which camera we're gonna be using as you can see you can go to camera source and you have the internal back which is your rear camera you have internal front which is the front camera front facing camera and you have omni camera which is basically if you want to use an external camera again i have a video that i did about that showing you how to build a full mobile rig that you can actually stream using your external camera and hdmi camera with a phone like this one and actually be able to go live from anywhere using OmniStream. so i'm gonna link that video down below if you want to check it out but for now we're gonna be using the actual phone's camera okay another thing you need to choose the actual resolution okay which is this 30 1080p so usually that's what i use i use 1080p 30 frames per second so that's gonna be what we're gonna be using however you have options to use 24 frames per second if you want to you can even do 4k if you want to stream in 4k but again for now facebook doesn't support 4k so that's probably for other platforms next we can go to codec again for your codec you can leave it at h264 uh, but again you still have h265 if you actually need it it's available as well so once 
once we have everything set we have our stream at 1080p 30 frames per second 6 megabits per second bit rate everything looks good our camera is already selected other features like your audio if you want to connect your microphone again i will refer you to the other video that i made showing you how to build the whole rig you can connect an external microphone to your phone if you want if you don't want to use your actual microphone from the phone you can actually go to this icon and choose which microphone that you want to be using and everything as soon as you connect it you're gonna have an option to choose it okay and we're gonna go ahead and actually lock this orientation thing so to make sure the camera stay in horizontal mode and that's pretty much it mostly everything is set we have our graphic stream starting soon ready to go so we're gonna leave it on so when we open our stream to facebook that's what people are going to see before we show our camera as you can see we are ready to go again i don't need to connect an external microphone make sure everything's ready your lighting and everything or again assuming maybe you're streaming from outside make sure everything's good and the next step is gonna be ready to go live to facebook so i'm gonna go ahead and click this arrow button again just click on it and as you can see we have our destinations okay again you can go ahead the, the first one here if you are on a trial version it's probably gonna be there by default this is a stream that's being sent to omni stream servers you can actually disable it if you want okay you can even delete it if you want so we're gonna go ahead and actually delete now next we're gonna go to facebook so we're gonna go ahead and click on the facebook icon and what we're gonna do omnistream is going to allow us to actually connect to our facebook account so i'm gonna go ahead and actually connect to my facebook account all you need to do just follow instructions we're gonna continue and log into my account and then boom i just have to give permission to omnistream and as you can see i'm logged in and you can see my name okay now it's gonna ask me to actually share where i I want to share and as you can see as i click to my name it's gonna show all my facebook pages available and what i need to do i need to choose one of the facebook pages that i want or if i want to show to my actual personal account i'm gonna do that as well okay so i'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, leave it on my personal page okay and what i'm gonna do here obviously because i don't want it to go public right now people will be confused i'm gonna make it only me but if you in your case it's gonna be public okay again you can do your personal account or your facebook page okay and then you're gonna go ahead and actually add a title so i'm gonna call it testing and then description i'm gonna call it let's say testing on the stream and once you're done you click anywhere and then what you're gonna do is once you've done everything your title your, your description what you need to do is you're gonna go ahead and click submit so on this room is gonna go ahead and actually process and as you can see we are ready to go live what we need to do is as you can see my facebook icon is kind of ready i can also have this button here if i want to share it you can go ahead and actually share the link to the stream i can go ahead and actually copy it and or if i want to share it to let's say by email or by gmail any other way to share you can share it on, on facebook or bluetooth whatever you want all right you can actually go ahead or you can simply go ahead and copy it okay and then what you need to do is go back to omnistream as you can see omnistream is gonna tell me when your battery is actually getting low so the next step really is to go ahead and hit the live button here the big button and right now we should be live and you can see everything here here it shows like how many bit rate now we actually using only four megabits per second okay but again as you do you add some video and data it may go up to six megabits per second and we're streaming at 1080p 30 frames per second h264 we should be live right now on facebook okay so what we need to do as you can see we have this start streaming soon and i'm gonna go ahead and actually check on my facebook page i see if i am live and i am definitely live on my screen here let me actually show you a little quick as you can see i can actually show my studio uh no problem how i'm actually recording this video and boom no problem okay and as you can see if i go to my facebook page right here i'm gonna show you a little quick and you can see that i'm actually live so this is my facebook page here as you can see i am live okay title omni stream and everything
okay so guys this is how you go live so you guys can see right now that i am live no problem i'm streaming at 1080p available which is 1080p 30 frames per second no problem i can go full screen if i want but this is how we go live again if i was using a camera like my dslr camera i could use the same feed if i want to connect any hmi source into the phone i could use the same feed no problem and i'll be able to go live from my phone no problem all right so once you're done all you gotta do you just all you need to do is just gonna go ahead and hit this big red button and you're gonna go ahead and actually end your stream again with omni stream there's so many cool things you can do i invite you guys to go ahead and download the application if you don't have it for more information make sure you go to omnistream.live and check out all the features and all the cool stuff that you can do with omni stream however as i promised you if you want to see how i build my mobile rig to be able to go live to any platform facebook youtube instagram customer tmp using a dslr camera through omnistream i'm gonna have the video that i did linked right here so make sure you check it out and i'll see you guys there take care